Hey, aloha, everyone. Michelle Malen is with BlossomInnerWellness.com, StandTogetherHawaii.com, and I'm also, also the author of The Great Maui Land Grab, What Caused the Maui Fire and Is Your Home Next? And you can get this at GreatMauiLandGrabBook.com. Wow, today I'm going to be sharing some amazing stuff that I just found. Uh, first, I did a whole video a couple days ago about uh, the comparing what happened to North Carolina to Maui. And uh, I did state that BlackRock owns the Hawaii Electric Company, but I didn't explain why that is important. So I want to do that today. And I'm also going to be sharing with you a patent. And you're going to be very shocked by who what, there's one. There's a number of scientists that uh, own this patent. It's actually expired, which means the public can now use it. But one of the founders are are researchers on this patent is going to blow your mind. So thank you for joining. And let's get started. Oh, I do want to do a shout out to Ace of Coins, the sponsor of my channel, uh, A-C-E-O-F-C-O-I-N-S.com. If you want to lower your, lower your taxes, uh, get your face, your biometric data, which is being used by big tech, your image is being used by big tech. If you want to learn how to license your face, if you want to learn how to buy Bitcoin tax free, check out aceofcoins.com and also shout out to the voice of Kona radio 100.5 FM. So mahalo if you're listening on the islands on the big island, actually. Okay. Share screen. Let's see here and get started. So I wanted to say, you know, BlackRock is the own, uh, ownership in Hawaii Electric Company. So why is that important? Because BlackRock, um, Hawaii Electric Company is right now being uh, the scapegoat for the Maui fire. You know, the, the Maui fire, the uh, fire investigators literally said that the fire was caused by one fire that they had put out, but it, that it restarted. And uh, that's why the Maui fire happened. And yet they don't explain why it was treated like a crime scene, why trees didn't burn, people were left recognizable, burned from the inside out, plastic trash cans didn't melt, yet the house was disintegrated into white ash, things that were blue didn't burn. If you want to learn why that happened, uh, it's in my book, but also you can check out some of the videos that I've posted in the Maui fire playlist. But... Here's your, here's the story, you guys. BlackRock is part owner of the Hawaii Electric Company. They are also the stockholders, the the uh, shareholders of renewable energy that they want to put on Maui. Maui was set to be the first smart island. Smart meaning surveillance, monitoring, analysis, reporting technology, and they want to create that on Maui. And so these the BlackRock is a huge, huge, huge investment company along with Vanguard. Two of the those two are the largest investment companies in the world, and they are uh, they have a lot of stock in the renewable energy. So they need people to believe in climate change because that will bring about the renewable energy that they want. Uh, and these renewable energies, according to many many experts, including John Coleman, who was the first a weatherman on Good Morning America in the 70s. He was the founder of the Weather Channel. He literally says there's no climate danger. Is climate change happening? He says, yes, every moment of every day, climate change happening, but there's no climate danger right now. Uh, and then Dr. David Dilley, who was uh, 70 years work uh, as a meteorologist, worked as a meteorologist in the Navy. He literally said that the Earth per the Milikovitch cycle, it's a, it's a elliptical cycle around the sun, was closest to the sun 8,000 years ago, and we're actually going into a cooling period. The last thing I want to share about that is that they are saying that carbon is uh, dangerous for the planet, which it could not be further from the truth because the plants breathe carbon. If we, if our carbon footprint goes down, I believe it's 180 parts per million, we're dead. We're, the whole planet's pretty much going to die. We need carbon. We're carbon-based. So all of that, research it. Just research it. So I did want to say uh, BlackRock is ownership in Hawaii Electric. Hawaii Electric is the scapegoat right now for the Maui fire because they're saying that the electricity was turned on when there's a, a video that literally shows you can hear a police officer calling the Hawaii Electric Company asking them to turn off the power and they said the power is already off. So they are the scapegoat. And um, 
what did I want to say around? I think that's all I wanted to say around that. Okay, let's go to Al Albemarle Corporation. And what is important about Albemarle Corporation and the people that own it or have invested in stock? Let's take a look at who they are. Let's see here. These are the members of the board. These are the shareholders. Oh, look who we have here, BlackRock. And they are also invested in uh, Albemarle, which is a company that has uh, requested patents, I'm sorry, permits to reopen the mine in Kings Mountain, North Carolina, that just was destroyed by the hurricane. Uh, they were having environmentalists and also residents that were pushing back and saying, we don't want this mine to reopen because of all the dangers that producing lithium mines uh, produce. And they are now, that area is completely destroyed. So, but who is the owner of this? Our owner has stock in Albemarle is BlackRock. And people were saying, oh yes, you know, Kamala's husband, is a uh, you know owner in Albemarle actually he's in he has stock in Vanguard and BlackRock and this is Kamala Harris is a multimillionaire index investor and her husband is uh MOF's retirement accounts on the other hand are chock full of exchange trade traded funds by offered by Vanguard and BlackRock and Carl Schwab they're not the only ones, you know, I did the other video that shares who is involved with that. So all of these demons, in my opinion, satanic demons, uh, are involved with all of these stocks. So this is what's going on. And I do want to share what President um, Lyndon Johnson said in the 1960s when he spoke at Southwest Texas State University, 1962. And here we go. I want to make sure my sound is on because otherwise I'll be sharing this and no sound is, is coming through. So let me share the sound. It lays the predicate and the foundation for the development of a weather satellite that will permit man to determine the world's cloud layer and ultimately to control the weather. And he who controls the weather will control the world. Yeah, yeah. So that's Lyndon Johnson in the 60s. Let me uh, show you this here. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the right screen here. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, and then I want to show you this, which is a weather modification company. The weather modification has a, high, a wide range of services to provide knowledge, data, equipment, and capability of any phase of your project. We can also tailor a program to meet your specific objectives and manage it from the beginning to end. So this is an actual company that is available for, you know, the filthy rich who want to change the weather without any people having any under, um, knowledge that this is happening, which is a total, it's horrible, that's, that's horrible. Here is a patent. Now this patent, it was abandoned. And I, I did say this patent on the last video. However, I did some further research and this hurricane tornado control device patent was abandoned. So it, um, I did want to, I did want to come up on and say that, but I do want to say that there are, so it says abandoned hurricane and tornado control device abandoned. And there it is right there. You can see down here in the status, it says abandoned. However, there are other patents uh, propagating sound through bodies of water to generate and direct wind for the purpose of moderating and affecting weather patterns. This one is active. And this is, um, it says, this invention claims a patent to process propagating sound waves through bo bodied bodies of water, such as oceans, to produce and direct wind for the purpose of managing aerial weather systems. But here's what's really am amazing. Bill Gates, the hurricane tamer. This was an article in July of 20, 2009. 2009, let's just remember that date, you guys. Bill Gates, one of the most powerful men on the planet, appears to be taking on Mother's Earth's, uh, Mother Earth's most fearsome forces, her hurricane, the hurricane. An application with the US patent 
and Trademark Office, January 3rd, 2008, lists Gates and 12 others as the inventors of a number of methods to control and prevent hurricanes. So let's take a look at this patent. This is uh, water alteration structure, applications and methods. And here we have Bill Gates the third, right down here, William, William H. Gates. And then uh, this is July 20, 2009. I put in here, I just wanted to see how many times is hurricane written and it's written 23 times, 23 times. So hurricane weather management, hurricane suppression, hurricane prevention, hurricane intensity, intensity modulation. So that means they can actually increase the intensity of it. And I wanted to show you one other thing here. Device method system and structure which may be used to alter hurricanes, either in their strength, their origin, or their direction of travel has been realized billions of dollars of distinction of destruction uh yes so it has been realized so that is in this patent which was in 2009 this is the patent right here water alteration structure applications and methods this is the patent that here his name is again william h gates and it has expired which means that people are able to use it now because it used this, this, um, uh, this apparatus, which controls hurricanes. And then, but I found this interesting and I don't have the date. Oh wait, 2000 and, uh, 1998. So this is what the NOAA hurricane research division said in 1998. There's no sound physical hypothesis for the modification of hurricanes, tornadoes, or damaging winds. And that was, uh, let's see, uh, experiments has been conducted in the past 20 years. So they've been trying to do this in, in the 1998s, but in 2009, Bill Gates was called the hurricane tamer. And he has a patent that literally controls the weather. The last thing I want to share is this, because Milton is now supposed to hit today. Incredible, incredible, incredible hurricane. Uh, it has dropped... It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. Now, you're not going to believe what I'm already seeing taking place near the state of Florida, just like we saw with Helene. Already, it's looking like a disco party is going. So when he says disco party, he's talking about these green flashes and something's going on with this. This um, it, it has been shown with these satellite images that these actually move the weather system. Going on, a lot of different radar activity going on. We got spikes here going all the way into the Gulf, heavy lines up in this area. And then of course we have the one we saw with Hurricane Helene right here going off again. Now, of course, remember these are just theories that we're talking about here, entertainment purposes only, because no way is weather modification real, right everybody? And uh, okay, I guess we, we all know that that's not true. Anyway, but... take a look down here near Southern Florida. We got some right angle clouds taking place. A weird situation here ahead of Look at this right angle right here. Weather weather doesn't do this. That's impossible for weather to do a right angle, you know, unless it is manipulated. The hurricane, and I want you to think about this because ahead of Hurricane Helene, we had a very significant low pressure system up by North Carolina already sitting there that then interacted with actual Hurricane Helene, causing the record breaking flooding. Now, just look at this one more time. Take a look at what's going on up here, the disco party, and then look at these clouds down here making unnatural formations, right angles. We don't see right angles in nature. So, a lot of the rain and moisture taking place in Florida is almost a precursor to the landfall of the hurricane. You can get a much better idea of what I'm talking about. Look at that. We got so, one. I wanted to share. That's what's well, let's let me just let him go a little further because there's one more thing I want to share on this video. Coming from all the way in North Carolina, streaking across South Carolina, Alabama, part of the panhandle through Mississippi and into Louisiana. This is unreal. This is a very distinct radar beam here. And then look at the other ones fingering down like this. And if you continue to watch, you can see our little beams coming from Georgia right down into Florida, exactly where Hurricane Helene. 
this is not normal, everybody. Not normal. This is a beam coming down. The satellite images is showing this. And thank God for this person doing this. Plane made landfall. So again, my friends, whatever's going on here, we're just speculating. The Air Force has uh, gotten great value out of HARP in the past. We, uh, we, we took it over from the Navy and managed it and actually did a number of uh, experiment campaigns up there and uh, have finished our, our work that we're interested in doing up there. We've uh, moving on to other ways of uh, managing the ionosphere, which the HARP was really designed to do, was to inject energy into the ionosphere, be able to actually control it. Yes, Control the ionosphere, control the ionosphere. And then Dan, Dan Wigginton comes on and he shares uh, a, more about weather manipulation. But um, that's, what, that's what's going on, everybody. So I did wanna share that Bill Gates is one of the inventors of the patent that controls hurricanes and makes them more intense and can move them. So that is that is uh, being used. Uh, it, it is available right now, and it, it's it's not just Bill Gates, but anybody now can use this pat this this um, technology because the patent has expired. So it's available uh, to the general public. So I just wanted to say that, and I wanted to do a quick prayer because we need all the help we can get right now. Great spirit, infinite intelligence of all things. You see this show, you see this game we all came to play. And even though we see the destruction of people's homes and lives and livestock, we know that something better is coming for us, that the light is being shined right now on all the people who have been harmed, who have had taken everything taken from them. We just honor them right now in their journey and their courage for having come to this planet at this time with that mission. And we ask right now, and we give so much gratitude for the knowingness that this world can be a better place. And we get to watch as those who do not value human life and human freedom are removed from power. And that these patents that show destruction, that they come to light for all people to see the truth, that this is not normal, it's not about climate change, that this is about greed and the absolute uncaringness of human life. And we call it no more. We say no more. We bind those who would do any more harm. And we get to watch as they are removed from power in whatever way needs to happen. We know that that is done. And so it is. Sending you so much love from the Big Island. Please just be prepared. Have it to go back in your car with food water, change of clothes, toiletries, and um, just keep an eye on your weather. And also you maybe even contact your state representative and send him these patents and say, hey, this is available right now. Can you see if this is being used for an attack on the people? And if not, can you use it to stop these? Because they can seed rain. They could, all of these fires could have been put out like that all they had to do was seed the clouds and it would rain. That Maui fire never would have happened. Paradise, Chico, Oroville, Tubbs Fire, Canada, all of them, Chile. They, could not, they, they wouldn't have happened if we just had someone up there to seed the clouds to make it rain, which they have the power to do. And they've had the, that power since the 60s. So maybe contact your state representative and just talk story with them and say, hey, this, this technology is available. Is it being used to attack us? And if it's not, then use it to help us. And maybe that's our action that we take. All right, please like and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate that. Much aloha, everyone.